So you might have noticed that I'm not working in the same kitchen that I had been before. What had happened was I've been working on this house for three years, even before I was doing any kind of videos of any kind. But after finding a little bit success in doing those videos, I got the opportunity to pretty much design my dream kitchen. And so I thought I'd just show you around. So let's go. So this is my stove over here. It is called an Aga cooker. This model happens to be all electric. Everything in this kitchen is all electric. We don't have any gas in here whatsoever. How this oven works is that instead of dialing in a temperature into like a main oven unit, it has a couple of separate smaller ovens and each one is at a different temperature and it's used for a specific purpose. So this guy right here is a roasting oven. Temperatures in here range about 400 plus degrees, roasting temperature. Down here is a slow cooker oven, around 200, 200-ish degrees in there. We've got a pot roast in here right now. You can cook something for like five hours in here. Um, this is a baking oven, cookies, breads, cakes, that kind of thing. And here is another slow cooker oven, and this is a plate warmer oven. The reason why I personally think this is good for my purposes is if I don't have to focus so much on the exact number of the temperature when I'm making something, then if I'm making a recipe for someone on the other side and your oven or their oven is not precise, it doesn't matter so much. So I can just say like, you know, bake between 325 degrees to 375, not that important. If I'm not really focusing on it, you don't have to either. Over here is an induction hob. Induction is pretty much the next level in cooking surface technology. Instead of a gas range, basically we have like a set panel here that determines how much energy to put into the pot. It uses magnets. I'm not a physicist, so I don't really know exactly how it works. All I know that there's copper and magnets involved and it is just as powerful as any gas stove. Um, I could fill this thing up with water and it would be boiling in like 11 minutes. Over here are two hot plates. These are like old school hot plates where it's just literally things of metal that are at specific temperatures. This is a boiler plate, so it's super, super hot. You can like stir fry and stuff on this. And then this is a simmering plate, not as hot, I, but I like to, you like, there's a silicone mat on this right now. I can like make flapjacks and pancakes and eggs on this if I wanted to straight on that thing. I like having these because for induction, you have to have magnetic pots and pans. They have to be made out of a ferrous metal. So with these, I could use clay pots, dulcets, copper, and it would still work. Over here, I've got just kind of like an all purpose station. All my plugs have upgraded voltage and then I have a really high voltage plug over here. I do that so that whatever I put here, it's still under the hood so I can switch it out. So I can have this induction walk burner over here, which works much better than any like kind of gas thing that we have around here in the States. Or I can switch it out and then put this over here and open it up and it's a grill or I could switch it out again and it's a deep fryer or I could switch it out again and it's another induction hob if I needed another one. That kind of versatility I really like and it's something that you could like, you could never have unless you were just focused on like an electric kitchen that way. I got this kitchen island from my buddies at Woodwork Throwbacks in Detroit. We took a old hardware cabinet that used to be for nuts and bolts and screws and all sorts of like construction hardware uh, and then we replaced it and I now keep all my spices in here and now it's like this is like my new spice library at my old place it was just a bookcase now I actually have like an actual library which I kind of love uh, the thing about it is like there's <laughs> it's an electrified island after working in a restaurant for you know most of my life at this point, I also did. I'm very stubborn about the fact that I refuse to like not live in a kitchen that doesn't have a speed rack anymore. This is not only a great place to like store sheet pans, baking sheets, all the pans that a lot of people normally would store in their oven. 
Uh, but I also use the top shelf to store like dry goods, things that I'm gonna cook really quickly, or things I plan on cooking soon, like whether it be squashes and garlic and onions and stuff in there. Um, and even though it's kind of messy, it looks like you did it on purpose. That's my favorite part about this. Knives are over there. <laughs> you can like do a thing, I guess. Pot storage is over there, and that's really all there is to it. This place is still a work in progress. Um, if you turn around, you can see that there's just like a massive hole in the wall. Uh, she, got she was very offended by that. Hey, hey, Mochi, Mochi, we're filming. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, you can see there's this little, huge hole in the wall over here. That's going to be a pass-through. And there will be shelving and stuff here. There's a lot of stuff just sitting on my countertops because, you know, there is literally nowhere to put them right now. But we're building all of that still. We're good to film in here though, so we've started doing that. So yeah, that's pretty much my, my kitchen. I wanted to design a kitchen that really shows the advantages of having an electric kitchen. There's a lot of stigma that is behind like, you know, cooking on electric coils or those awful like radiant uh, infrared heat like cooktops and stuff. We've moved past that, but not a lot of people know that. So while I really don't care what you put in your home, I wanted to prove that you could have like a high-end kitchen for a person who really likes to cook, for a place that is really enjoyable to cook without needing to like have gas installed into your home. We have it in our minds that like a gas stove is the best thing to cook on and that's just simply not true anymore. Yes, we might have had bad experiences on like electric coils and infrared burners back in the past, but you know, I have a mixture of like the latest technology and literally the oldest technology and both of them together give me so much better of a cooking experience than gas would. And I'm not exposing myself or my family to any of the fumes that come out from a gas stove where the research is coming out every year that it turns out that these things are bad for you. So that's my kitchen. I look forward to showing you tons of stuff to cook in this and yeah. <laughs> so that is my kitchen. And if you have any further questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them for you. Yeah, I can't wait to show you what we make in here.